The stellar cast of The Hunger Games reunites for the final time as Katniss makes a last stand against President Snow in The Mockingjay Part 2. I'm Jan and this is 20 things you probably didn't know about The Hunger Games Mockingjay movies. For production designer Philip Messina, the most complicated set to create was the Capitol's tunnels, which were about five foot high, making it a tough location for both cast and crew, who also had real fire and water, cold, complex fight scenes and 20 pounds of waterlogged gear to deal with during those scenes. In fact, the action in those scenes was so intricate that before filming began, the entire thing was storyboarded and choreographed, and filming took place over the course of three weeks on a soundstage in Atlanta. Oh, and those mutts that Katniss and Kodu battle with were actually brought to life thanks to a mix of real stuntmen on set and CGI. The assault by lizard mutts wasn't just a terrifying moment for the movie's characters, it also got pretty scary for actor Wes Chatham, who plays cameraman Castor, who films District 13's propos with his brother Pollux and director Cressida. While filming a scene where one of the mutts attacked his character, Chatham nearly drowned as a stunt performer accidentally held him underwater. A number of other actors also sustained injuries during the tunnel sequence. Liam Hemsworth, who plays Gale, hurt his back after being thrown against a wall and badly bruised his hips after rolling over steel grates for multiple takes. And those same grates led to Josh Hutchison, who plays Peter, fracturing his knee. Actor Sam Claflin loved having the chance to wield Phoenix Trident against those monstrous mutts, and before filming part two, he spent time practicing with broomsticks to keep up his skills. And although Claflin found Mockingjay Part 2 the most physically demanding of the Hunger Games movies, he says his biggest challenge was actually the dance scene at Phoenix's wedding to Annie Cresta, as he absolutely hates dancing. The map projected by the Hollow that Katniss and her team used to avoid traps in the capital is based in part on the layout of France's capital city, Paris, where filming for some scenes in the Mockingjay movies took place. For example, the scene where a pod releases a deluge of black oil on Katniss and her team was filmed in the Espace de Brachas, a postmodern apartment complex in a Parisian suburb. And for many of the scenes set in President Snow's mansion, including his office, the filmmakers used a mansion not far from Paris called the Chateau de Voisin. Speaking of Snow's office, the rug in that room was woven in China, especially for the production, and measured 45 feet. Remember the podium we saw President Snow standing at in the Hunger Games movies? Well, the filmmakers actually destroyed that prop after each film, only to rebuild it for the next one. Oh, and by the way, it may look pretty sturdy on screen, but in reality it's made from cheap, lightweight materials like plywood and styrofoam. For the look of Katniss's Mockingjay outfit, costume designers Kurt and Bart drew on Japanese archery gear, specifically their asymmetrical breastplates. Because Jennifer Lawrence wears the outfit in a number of different scenes, its function and flexibility were as important as how it looked. So at the first costume fitting, she ran around with her bow and arrow so that Kurt and Bart could work out where and how the outfit needed altering. For example, they built an arm guard into the costume on Lawrence's shooting arm when they realized that the bowstring was hitting her forearm whenever she shot an arrow. When creating costumes, Costumes for District 13's inhabitants, designers Kurt and Bart looked to World War II London for ideas. They especially kept in mind the wartime restrictions placed on the garment industry to save fabric, for example the number of buttons on clothes and the amount of pleats in dresses. For Effie Trinket's distinct take on District 13's clothing, Kurt and Bart were inspired by their experience of New York's club scene in the late 1980s, and the often eccentric fashion of American socialite Edith Bouvier Beale, who was also known as Little Edie and featured in the 1975 documentary film Grey Gardens. By the way, the Mockingjay movies are not the first time that costume designers Kurt and Bart have worked with director Francis Lawrence. They also worked with him in 2001 on the music video for Britney Spears' song I'm a Slave for You. After taking care of Elizabeth Banks' makeup for the first two films in the franchise, makeup designer V. Neal decided to place Effie Trinket's appearance in the hands of her colleague Nicoletta Scolatos to ensure a fresh perspective and a suitably different look for the ever-changing Effie in the final two movies. Transforming actress Jenna Malone into Joanna took three hours in the makeup chair each day, which included putting on a bald cap, doing flesh toning and prosthetic work around her neck, and adding cuts and bruises. Jennifer Lawrence's young nephews, Burr and Theodore Lawrence, play Katniss and Peter's children in the epilogue scene in Mockingjay Part 2. Burr is a child with Josh Hutcherson, while Theodore, who was just nine months old when the movie was shot, is in Jennifer Lawrence's arms.
Now which do you think was the best film in the quadrilogy and why? And would you like to see the Hunger Games franchise continue in some way? If so, what would you like to see? Tell me in the comments below. So guys, if you'd like to see more videos like this, do please subscribe, like and share. My next videos will be things you probably didn't know about Ant-Man and things you probably didn't know about Star Wars The Force Awakens. Thanks for watching and see you next time, you big IA movie lovers.